After eight years, a Democrat is taking over New Mexico's highest office. This afternoon, Michelle Lujan Grisham gave us insight into what her priorities will be and how she plans to transition into office January 1st. News 13's Madeline Schmidt breaks it down. Now, Jessica and Dean with a 16-point win over Steve Pierce last night. Lujan Grisham was enthusiastic today as she announced former Senator Jeff Bingaman as her trans transition team chair. You want people who are clear about a new vision, clear about good governance, who are clear that I want to build a system that represents and reflects New Mexico's new set of priorities. That new set of priorities includes a clean energy economy and investment in public education, particularly universal pre-K. Lujan Grisham stuck to her campaign promise, saying one of the first things she plans to do is sign an executive order for the PED to cease park testing. She's taking office with Democratic control in the state legislature, meaning they may finally accomplish some of their big ticket items. I'd like this to be a much more cooperative environment than certainly some legislators have certainly signaled to us that it, that it has been. Our KRQE political expert believes Democrat state lawmakers may finally have a good shot at legalizing marijuana and tapping into the permanent fund for pre-K. Both things Lujan Grisham has indicated she's open to doing. Lujan Grisham said she, Bingaman, and a longtime staffer of the congresswoman are starting from scratch when it comes to picking their cabinet. She says no one has been promised a position and that she's even willing to consider Martinez staffers who are interested. Back to you. All right, Madeline, thank you. New Mexico is the first state to have two female governors in a row. Lujan Grisham says Governor Martinez has offered her full cooperation during the transition.